Hi YouTube, this is Kat the Herbal Prepper and in this video we're going to make some black drawing salve for bug bites and bee stings because it's that time of year, the mosquitoes are out, people are going to start to get itchy. So the first thing up is plantain. This is a wonderful drawing herb. This is going to help draw out the venom from stings and bites and um, that very irritating saliva from mosquitoes. This is comfrey. This is going to help speed up the healing from these very horrible, really itchy, uncomfortable bites. Now here we have some activated charcoal and bentonite clay, some mango butter, beeswax, some honey, and um, some infused oil I'm going to talk about in just a moment here. All right, there's the oil. That is some oil I made ahead of time. It's castor oil, olive oil, plantain, and comfrey. And if you want to know how to make that, I have the instructions on my website and the link below. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take three quarters of a cup of that infused oil and we are going to break off little bits of this mango butter and we are going to bring the total volume that's in this jar up from three quarters of a cup to a full cup by um, displacing that volume with the, uh, the mango butter. And normally this is very easy to break, but I had it in a kind of a cold room, so it was a little brittle, but and it does just fine. Now, if you're concerned about not being able to get these exotic butters like mango butter or shea butter or cocoa butter, um, you know, if shipping were to be cut off in some type of, you know, long-term emergency, that sort of a thing, then you could always substitute something like lard. And I've substituted lard in this maybe about a half a dozen times, and it's come out perfectly fine each time. So um, lard or tallow, those are things that you should be able to source locally in case of a long-term emergency. All right, so now I'm going to take that infused oil. It's got the mango butter in there, and I added two tablespoons of beeswax pastilles to this. We're going to put this um, double boiler here on the water and the water is going to boil but the oils and the fats and the waxes are never actually going to touch the heat because it's just going to use the heat from the water below it and that just helps to protect the oils and the fats from being over overcooked there. So um, here we have the activated charcoal. This really is the magic to all of this. Um, however, this is one of the finest and messiest powders you're ever going to use. However, this is incredibly useful for bug bites, spider bites. Um, it just draws out the venom, but look at the mess that it makes. Um, the other ingredient that helps to draw here is bentonite clay. And bentonite clay, I use this for just about everything. If the charcoal doesn't work, then bentonite clay will draw it out. So between these two powders, um, th this works very well to draw out venom and um, the saliva from the mosquitoes. Um, it just becomes very, very irritating. Now this here, this is raw honey. Um, I got tired of fighting with it because it's starting to get a little thick on me. So I ended up taking the lid off. And here you can see the mango butter has already started to, that's already melted actually, and we just have a little bit of the beeswax left. Now, if you don't have beeswax pastilles and you just have a block of beeswax, you can make shavings and get a scale and weigh out one ounce. Each tablespoon is about a half an ounce of beeswax. So through the magic of video, all of this has been melted. This took about 20 minutes. I didn't want to waste your time just waiting on wax to melt. So this is all melted now and I'm going to be adding the charcoal, which is about um, a half a cup of charcoal, I believe, and a half a cup of bentonite clay. I have all of the proportions on my website. So again, you'll be able to get um, this recipe. You'll have access to it anytime you want very quickly. I'll make sure that that link is below. So here I'm adding in the charcoal and the clay to the oils and just look at that charcoal, that very fine powder just goes poof. It looks like smoke, but it's uh, just the powder. Normally I'm very careful and I put down uh, paper towels everywhere and this day I just forgot. So I'm going to have a little mess to clean up. But anyway, I have a whisk here and normally this is just an attachment that I use on my immersion blender. There's no way that I want to use an appliance when I'm dealing with powders like this. That would just go poof everywhere. Um, it would make an even bigger mess. See, this is just an attachment that I use. So I'm going to just uh, whisk this by hand and get the powders incorporated into the oil and uh, that way it'll prevent it from making any more of a cloud. 
and you don't want to lose any of the charcoal any more than you have to. This stuff is wonderful to just pull out oh, all that itchy, scratchy misery that comes with mosquito bites this time of year. All right, so this here is raw honey and I've waited till this point to add it because the salve has started to cool down a little bit. Um, as you can see there, I've kind of muscled it in there and mixed in that honey into the oil there. Uh, the reason I've waited is because I wanted it to cool down because it's raw. I don't want to cook the honey, so I waited until you could just touch it without being burned. That way I know I'm not going to uh, cook out the enzymes from the honey. So it'll still technically be raw, even though it was warmed up a little bit. And now here we have some lavender oil. I like to add this. I think it helps. You don't have to be super precise about the number of drops. Just wait until after you've put in the honey because then you'll be uh, safer as far as the salve being too hot and evaporating those precious essential oils. Now I'm going to have to move very quickly to get this salve into the tins and into the jar. I have four two ounce uh, tins and I have an eight ounce mason jar here and you can already see it's setting up I I'm gonna need to try and jiggle this around to sort of spread that out throughout the tin but if you want more information on how to use this how to apply this how to make any part of this I have all the information on my website I'm gonna put the links below this is a, a wonderful salve to have for this time of year with all those miserable bug bites going out there black flies mosquitoes horse flies you name it so this has been Cat the Herbal Prepper. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.